Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we talked about a last week about a change in Google Chrome and the way that it's going to report the um, downloads that could be risky. But they're also changing uh, some of the wordings and some of the ways they're going to actually show up a download that's suspicious. So you'll now have suspicious download blocked. And you'll have also unwanted software, uh, dangerous download blocks, sorry. And um, this is to try to make people more aware of the dangers of downloading files. In a report that came out, uh, Google did say that the behavior of people uh, downloading malware has changed dramatically since they've updated the way that they warn users. Now, because of these messages, a lot of users, instead of clicking on a software that could be malicious, now decide to not do anything, not to run it or anything, and lowers the risks of malware. Of course, this is all in a way that has to be trusted. And the way that it is trusted is, of course, by knowing what you're downloading. So, in fact, the um, downloads... Well, like in every browser, it's the same with the smart screen filter in Windows with uh, Microsoft Edge, for example. Um, it goes with popularity. So any website that is known to be okay, that has a download that you know millions of people have downloaded without any problem, will, of course, go uh, safe and will be downloaded without any warnings. But anything that is unknown, and that doesn't mean it's bad, but it is kind of a warning of, well, I don't know what this is. So I'm warning you that this could be malware. Why don't, I just don't know. And um, this is, I think, a good way of uh, teaching people how to be careful because downloading files is a very risky thing. And uh, by giving warnings, I think it does help users sometimes make a more, um, I'd say a more, intelligent decision and maybe not running something that in fact could be malware I, I know a lot of people are uh, that that you know when you download files I've, I've given links sometimes and they say well you know the browser says it's a bad thing so I'm not downloading it um, and there's a lot of people that act that way and it's it's not a bad idea I mean if you do that you do lower the risk you know we do say that the first thing about security is updates and the second thing is your behavior. And uh, these two together is 99.9% .9 of all the security. Uh, once again, antivirus is not, does not make the top 10 list when you ask security experts what protects you. Uh, you got to stop thinking antivirus is there to protect you. It's not. It, what it detects is limited compared to all the things that could go through with no detection at all of malware. So I think this is a good idea. And uh, the fact that they're changing, trying to make it um, clearer as to why also uh, maybe a download could be blocked, um, I think is going to prevent a lot of people from getting malware. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.